Ever wonder how good is a tactical pen to break the glass of a car window? In this video, I will interview Yehuda Kaman, who was the stunt and the producer in our video ad for our line of tactical pen. Also, I'll give you a chance and I'll tell you how to win our one of our tactical pens. Stick around. If you like this type of content, please hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell next to it. This way, you'll be notified each time we go live or each time we post new content. Hi, my name is Jeff. I'm the founder of the Atomic Bear Company. Our company is making tactical pens and other gear that are low price and last for long. Welcome to the Atomic Bear channel and I'm super excited to have you with us. So Yehuda, like, um, I just want to, uh, to thank you very much for um, just accepting to talk uh, about your experience, but I think there's, um, uh, we, we needed your help to produce a great video on uh, our tact line of tactical pens, and um, you had the chance to use them all, and you had a chance to go in a scrapyard, if I'm not wrong, and just break a lot of power windows. Exactly. So I'd, l I'd like today to uh, get more of your, um, your uh, feedback about like how it went, where you guys went, and uh, what was the plan, and how the filming went, and how do you, what, how did you manage to uh, break car windows with the product? So maybe starting like what was the, the goal of, of of that day when you went out uh, with your team to um, get some uh, footage? So the goal was to create good content for for your products and especially your tactical pens and we also did a really nice photo shoot and a video shoot at the same time to really grab a lot of uh, content for you so we booked this uh, really cool scrap yard here in los angeles and we wanted to get many different angles of you know someone being able to crack the glass with your pen so that we did exactly that we found a car that had four available windows, you know, front, back, side, um, and, and even the back. And so actually five. And um, yeah, so we parked it in the middle of a scrapyard and we got these great images of this of the thing being used and, you know, close ups. And um, and I'm assuming when this video is coming out, the, the commercial will be live so we can intersperse with that. And you'll see we have all these amazing close-ups of the features and how dynamic your product is and all that stuff. So then we get to the glass breaking part. So the first part of the day was shooting close-ups and pulling it out of the pocket and uh, flipping it and, and all the different multi-tools. One of your pens is a multi-tool. Um, and so we get to the car part. And the main focus, obviously, I, I decided to be the model slash stunt person on this shoot because I just didn't want to have any kind of responsibility for anyone else. If someone got hurt, it would just make me feel really bad. So I was like, okay, I'll do it myself. So obviously we took a lot of safety precautions because um, I have never broken a window before, especially with any kind of device or a tactical pen. So I, you know, I looked it up. I, I saw videos and everything looked pretty easy, but again, you never know. So what we did is we bought these Kevlar uh, sleeves that go all the way up to your elbow, like up to here. And we bought these really nice tactical gloves. Um, and I, I believe I wore both of them as well as I bought even a wrist guard just to be extra safe. Um, so the time came and I was nervous and we had three cameras rolling. We had a, our main camera. We had our inside camera. We put it on the inside of the car. And we had like a side view camera rolling at the same time. So I think it was the back left window that I broke first. And so I'm, I'm there. And all that's going through my mind is don't get hurt and hit it hard, right? So we hit action. And I give it a nice, big, big uh, hit with a lot of strength, and it broke, like, like it was. I don't know. Is it is it the shot you did with the uh, the rebel pen when you go and it, it, the whole wind the whole um, car window in the back just collapsed? And what's very surprising, and I think we'll be able to show some uh, some of these images. But what happens is the whole glass at once 
is there, you see a big crack and the whole thing collapses. Is that that shot where you go in so the back? And that was actually the last shot. That was the, the last shot. shot. Oh, okay. The, the first one, I gave it all my power, and when I was done, nothing hit my arms. I mean, there's broken glass places, but as you know, the way they make tempered glass is it, it doesn't get sharp pieces. It gets little square pieces. So if it cuts you, it's a little cut. It's not a dangerous cut. Yeah. So I was like, okay, that was actually very easy. That was like nothing. And it broke, and we had great good footage of that. And the next one comes. I go around to the other side, and we're ready to shoot the next one. And I give it a little bit less strength. I kind of just medium, maybe split the difference between really hard and, you know, making sure you do some job. And pop, no problem at all. I mean, the tip on on your pen is so strong. It just, no, no effort. So we get through that. We change the angles. The third one comes, I believe it was the third one. And I'm confident at this point, literally, I told my crew that I could stand probably this far away from me in the window and just go like this boop, and it'll break because uh, I also learned that on the corners of a window, if you have corners of a window, you got to do it like in the corners. Because apparently the way the fulcrum point of like the pressure, you have to hit it on those. If you do it in the middle, yes, you can break a glass in the middle if you have to, but you got to use pretty hard. But if you do it in the, you know, bottom right hand corner of a window, bottom left hand corner of a window, like I said, you could really just go like that and it'll pop. Um, in an emergency situation, obviously give it all your force because you never know. I'm not saying to do that in an emergency situation, but I'm pretty confident you really just need a little bit of force because the way your pen is built, it's so strong and the tip is so perfect, it breaks it on on easy contact. So yeah. That's... Yeah, I, I was, you know, like in the video, you look pretty badass. So this guy looks like yeah, uh, he's done martial art and probably you did, I don't know. But I was like, well, flipping the pen and uh, obviously it's like a video, so you prepare for it and you do it do it well. But like one question I would have, like, do you, do you feel that like if a woman had to do it, like, do you think it's it's like like you said you have to use the the, the strength you you have to input uh, to break the glass? But do you feel that if someone uh, you are like not as maybe trained or uh, maybe a woman or somebody who is not as strong would be able to do it? You know, I am uh, already on it, but I would say 100% in my experience. Why do I say okay. that? Because, like I said, I started off very strong, easy. The second one, I was like, wow, this is very simple. I used less strength. And the third one, I barely touched it. I barely even hit it. It's just so if anybody, uh, uh, you know, some uh, female or someone, you know, maybe a, a teenage kid or something or adolescent kid needs to save something they could do it if they know the right place to hit it. Like I said, in the right left corner, bottom left corner of the window. If, if my screen is the window here, yeah, it would be like the, the over here and, you know, over here in the corner of, of the window. So yeah, I would say yes. Again, I'm not, don't take me as an expert or an authority. I'm just, I'm just a, a movie magic man, but, uh, Yes, it's it's very simple. We were all very very surprised how easy it was to break a window. Very very. So, easy. were all the windows as easy to break, like the windshield, the the side windows, or the door, or the the back uh, window? Which was there one is easier than the others? So I researched this after we did the filming. So we got done breaking all the side one, two, three, four side, and then we got that really epic shot you're talking about that back window where it all comes raining down in slow motion. Great shot. Uh, that was very easy too. Then we were done and we we're like, hey, I wonder if, you know, we paid for the car. So we, I was like, hey, let's break the windshield. And we're sitting there and, and one of our guys, he, cause everybody got a chance. Basically I, uh, I was done breaking all four and my other partner, he wanted to give it a try. He saw how easy it was. He wasn't afraid of it anymore. So he's sitting there hitting the windshield. The front windshield is not breaking. And we're like, what's going on? And then we realized the windshield for safety, at least as far as I know in all modern cars, is tempered in a different way, which makes sense. We found out different later that a windshield, if there's an accident, you don't want big pieces coming through. So I guess they put some sort of film on the front of the car, the windshield, that it does not break into pieces quickly uh, for that very reason, for safety reasons. It, it's more, it can be more punctured, glass doesn't fly everywhere in your face and in your eyes. 
but decide to rescue people, to get people out of a turned over car, stuff like that, or to break it if water's coming in. The side windows and the back window are easily broken. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty ingenious way to make cars. It makes sense logically now that I experienced the whole situation. Hey, you want to win an Atomic Bear tactical pen? Simply head to theatomicbear.com slash win a pen and within 10 to 20 seconds you'll be entered. Good luck. That's interesting. Also, like in the way you hold the pen. So I, I, I saw that sometimes you put your because um, all our pens have this ability to put your um, your uh, thumb in the back of the pen. So you have a more uh, powerful, uh, you know, um, uh, grip on it and you can use uh, your thumb to um, avoid the pen from slipping out of your uh, of your hand. But I've seen like some shot you use the, the thumb, but especially the last one with the rebel pen, when you go in the back of the uh, the car window and you just you're holding the pen like that without your thumb and the whole thing works. So oh, yeah. did, you, did you feel like more comfortable putting your thumb in the back or did it matter or? I would have to say naturally, if this is your pen, I have it with your pen right here. Can I grab it or should I stay on the screen? I can grab it or this, yeah. let's say this is your pen. Um, yes, it makes sense to, this is kind of natural, my natural instinct, but no, it's so easy to break these things and your pen has a lot of grip on it. So that when you break it, no problem. You can go like this, or it could just be normal like that. Yeah, makes sense. Well, you know, like until you, you've tried to break a car window, and a lot of us has, uh, have had an opportunity to, uh, to do this multiple times. So you're one of those uh, lucky guys who had the chance to uh, practice. No um, but, you know, one could think of using the pen for us to getting out of a car as well. So you, you got in, in a sense. You can use it to get out of the car and um, actually there's a, a guy like uh, Brian Lamb, his name is Brian Lamb. Last year he just contacted me and says, you know, um, I, I'm an employee at Home Depot. I saved someone out of a car, kid out of the car. So I asked him, do you want to go uh, live or, or get an interview with me? So he tell his story and basically managed to save a, a child out of a car that was locked in Phoenix uh, where the temperature was super high. So um, I think, you know, there's this application is real and 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 people are using tools like that to save people um but i asked him he cut himself a little bit in, in the hand I, he was bleeding a bit he said maybe if i had been a bit more uh trained i would have known to put you know um a shirt or something uh to uh protect my hand so in your case obviously didn't take any risk but if you had to do it in real life and you had to um to save someone or you could even save yourself out of a car like how would you how do you think you would wrap yourself would you be how would you be careful the, the eyes as well like i would potentially myself look away from it you had windows uh, sorry um, glasses so uh, how would you deal with that if you didn't have like all the gears that you had a chance to carry with you that day yes when we were filming i had safety goggles i had arm arm protection um, and I, even then i still looked away when i did it and i held my breath to not breathe in glass dust um so how would i do it i would now that i know now that i'm an experienced uh glass breaker i would look away i would always protect my eyes and i wouldn't hit that hard like i said it's now that i know you don't have to hit crazy hard and the philosophy would be this if a life is in danger you can make a decision in a half a second if if the easily if you just do like like that and it doesn't work, now you know to do it harder and it'll work. So if it doesn't work right away with a, with a more medium hit, so you don't cut yourself as much, um, then I would go hard. And if you're gonna go hard, maybe wrap your arm, wrap your hand. Um, again, as far as I know, it, you're not gonna really hurt yourself to a point where it's any kind of danger for getting yeah. cut. I'm not an expert, don't quote me on that, but the type of glass a car is made out of will cut you, give you little cuts, but it won't, you know, kill you as far as I know. I'm not an expert. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it would. To, if you don't have time to wrap your hand, don't hit it as hard so you don't smash your hand on the door frame and get cut even more. And if you need to hit it hard, if it's not working for whatever reason, maybe try to wrap your hand. Or I would, I call it the Bruce Lee move where you really go in, in and out fast. So it's like a, a snake bite, a snake strike where it's in and out. So you're not staying in there with the falling glass. You're not 
your arm's not going through yeah. the glass, you just in and out. So that would be my suggestion, if that makes sense. Yeah, because when you go through, when you you, you, you see that the hands go, like the momentum of the hands just continue. And if this is last coming, this is where you can cut yourself. So I, I think, I think you, I, like what you're saying is makes a lot of sense because you can just like hit it like this uh, with some retention, a bit like you do when you, if you've done like karate or you hit, but you just stop at the right position. So you do that with the pen. And if it doesn't work, you do it again until it works. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think it's it's a clever idea. And wrapping your hands and your eyes as well. People could cover their eyes with, uh, you know, their, uh, their hands. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's a, that's a great idea. So I want to say that you guys did a terrific job at um, getting this uh, this footage. I was very shocked, very impressed. Um, one of the things that impressed me is, you know, the, obviously the quality of the, the, the angle and the shot and seeing the glass, slow motion, just falling and all that. It was, that, that was brilliant. Um, but also the attention to details that you put there showing, you know, the, the different, different angles, the, the, the different use of the different tactical pens. And, um, I was, I was pretty impressed, um, looking at other type of uh, brands or, um, Uh, also doing some ads. I, I think um, our ads is just standing very high above um, other brands and not new, to name any. Uh, there's not many people and many uh, brands actually who spend the time to show their uh, all good other products. And I, for me, it's important that anything we come up with, you know, is, is working in real life. It's something that is not just like a, um, a smoke and mirror, but something that help people in real life. And you guys, Um, showed it and I, I was a bit stressed to be honest the day you went to film it because it, I didn't know like what the real danger was breaking car windows you know uh, but I knew I, I trusted you that yeah, you would be like secure and all that and I have to say uh, you look very badass in that video I like the shot when you flip the pen and then you you turn to another shot where you break open the uh, the car window uh, yeah. and that was brilliant Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we honestly, I was telling my crew, and I think I might have told you after we're done filming, it was probably the most fun I've had personally filming. We've done hundreds of commercials, and this is the most fun, A, because I was the actor, I was getting to do the the stunts, but it was just great going out there and, and kind of being in a junkyard and seeing what cool angles we can have and how to break stuff. And then uh, we did some of your Rebel Pen is more towards the business side of things. So we had a, I had a suit on and we were in the business district here in LA and we kind of went from the business side of things being like a corporate person. You never know when you're in a situation you need to save somebody in the business world. And then we went to the more rugged outdoorsy kind of energy and it was all super fun and we had a great time and I appreciate the compliment. Yeah, it was. It yeah, was it was good. And uh, I was to say like, um, Uh, that was a pleasure working with you, and uh, we'll have more commercial together, like uh, we're working on a uh, new product uh, that are going to hopefully come soon, uh, come out soon. We have a tactical belt that's going to come soon, uh, come out soon. Um, so uh, I'm looking forward to uh, to see what else we can do together because it's been a pleasure to work with you guys. Yeah, so I, I hope that... that um, Uh, anybody who's listening and watching, you've learned from, you know, some, some details, you know, the corners of the windows, the windshield is not the best place to start because it's unbreakable and um, don't apply too much strength, just um, control your, uh, your movement. So you, you can always increase the strength you put to break the car, the, the, the car windows. So you, you're not hurting yourself too much. You're not putting too much momentum in that uh, glass. And, um, Yeah, so hopefully nobody will have to do this for real, but it happens. So um, it's better to be prepared to survive these situations. And uh, until the next time, uh, Yuda, it was a pleasure. So be safe, take care. And uh, everyone watching, uh, the same. Be safe, be prepared, and uh, have fun. Thank you. Be safe, be prepared, and have fun. Thank you. Thanks, man. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I think it was a very interesting interview and I wish that you don't, you never have to use it. But as I say, it's better to be prepared than sorry. So keep preparing to survive and until the next time, next time, uh, next, the next video, be safe, take care and have fun.